tell me. Because at the end of the day, you never know. And that fear might be just your ego, right? What Yosef was talking about, the doubting Thomas, right? Keeping mm. you in the matrix to stay, you know, comfortable and uh, uh, programmed or, you know, automatized out. So, yeah, you want to move out of that Thomas Anderson role and get into Neo, the one. Yeah, what we're also talking about, too, is detaching from the delusion. Mm. Mm. A lot of times we we feel like just because something has been a fact or a reality in our lives, that it is true and it just is what it is. But a lot of times we're delusional and we're not even really saying seeing the truth of what something really is. Mm -hmm. You know, even in our experiences that were challenging, that were hard, that were painful, that were emotional, when we reflect back on those situations, we see the power in it. We see the divinity in it. We see the why behind it. So a lot of times people are so attached to their illusions and delusions that they're not giving themselves the opportunity to to go beyond it and to overcome it because they are it. Unconsciously, they feel like whatever it is, whatever their current reality is, that is them. Mm -hmm. And so a part of what we're doing with the Master Student Conference and each of these builds leading up to the Master Student Conference is helping you to understand that you don't have to continue being, identifying, being attached to any form of reality that is not serving you. Now you do have to observe with an honest eye what is happening within your life, hold yourself accountable and make the changes that you need to make to transform. Like we're hearing dream, babe, you just said, you know, meditation, dream work that help you to detach from the beliefs that you thought were real. The beliefs that you really were invested in mentally and emotionally, Trav, meditation, Yosef, sun gazing and mudras, doing that work help you to detach from the way that you were viewing yourself and the way you were viewing your world so that you can allow this new higher vibration, higher understanding, higher dimension, right? A higher form of yourself to embody you in the physical. Mm. So I think that that is so important, too, that um, that the family understands that one of the first things you're going to have to do is detach, mm, yeah. you know, detach from the experiences, detach from the trauma. That's not to say don't accept that they happen. Don't accept the experience because you do need to do that. When I'm saying detach, I mean, you're not so mentally and emotionally weighed down by your past. 